be able to just wake up and feel good with nothing bothering you, no diabetes, no cancer, no nothing bothering you. That's a blessing. My brother asked me, she said, Father, you say you, you, you're in good health, you're big, and you, you, you can, can you prove it? She put me to the test. She's in Atlanta. I was visiting Atlanta. I said, okay, I'm going to prove it. I took a test from head to toe. Nothing showed up negative. No diabetes, no prostate, no this, no that, no that, no that. The only thing the machine said that was vitamin D short. Now that was because the machines, I think, came from Germany and they just miscalculated that. It was calibrated for white people. <laughs> so basically, the next brother that I'm going to bring on, he's going to talk about how you can invest in your health and gun because you got food here that will make your hair stand up on your head if you ain't got him. <laughs> he will give you herbs that can bring you back from almost dead. I'm talking about Dr. Kofi Asari. All right. Talk to about else. <clears throat> I think when all the legalities have died down, the true African nature, which is the morality, rises. I always tell people Africans are naturally moralists and not legalists. Most of the areas we have in Africa, even in Ghana here, the most disciplined areas are the most traditionally spiritual areas. If you go to some villages in the Afran plains, as you are coming to Ghana, you know what I'm talking about very soon. You can live about 2,000 tubers of yam by the roadside. Nobody will take what? God they know what will happen if they try. Um, when we talk about health, so much lies have gone on throughout the ages about the word science. I was on Ghana television talking one day, an American doctor phoned in and said, that guy from Bed Ghana, what he said, is this scientific? I asked the host to ask him this question. Please define science. You see, the myopic looking at the word education, or probably miseducation, have tried to sort of put it in a four world classroom. If you do not go to certain schools to be schooled, then you are not educated. It's not true. Our people in Africa were highly educated. And they were led by an infallible guide. That is the intuitive guide. I think some of you might have heard about the Peter Cola, right? <laughs> Thousands of years ago, our ancestors chose the Peter Cola tree which we call in V champion as a chewing stick. It's just recently that the so-called scientists have been able to find out that it detoxifies the liver. Mm -hmm. So they knew this years ago. They chose it out of all the thousands of trees in the forest. I'm going to keep it short because I'm somebody who can talk about five hours without break. So I'm going to take it short. There are a lot of women, especially in Ghana, visiting churches and talking about, I'm praying to get pregnant. I think most of you have now read and found out that a lot of infertility in women especially, or hormonal imbalance, is due to magnesium deficiency. Right? 
how many of our so-called doctors in Ghana, except Kofi Asari, and I'm not, I'm not bragging. I do my research down to end. We have foods in Ghana like Kokoya, Amankeni, rich in magnesium. If you want to get pregnant, come and eat a lot of Kokoya. We have the Baobab leaves. That's why our people from the north, they are very fertile. And on and on and on. This is my book. It's short. Now, probably, you'll get some when you come next time or you get it online. But what I'm trying to say is that health by itself was a science that our people lived by. What they are talking about, eco-friendly investment. We don't have all those big things, but our people knew how to keep the rivers and the forests. Some of us have come back to be able to bring this to form. Right now, as I'm standing here, I have a program, an eco-friendly program, that is not only going to sanitize our system. Our government in Africa, especially Ghana, have been talking about sanitation, and they have been beating around the bush. Going back to our people, we can just use what I call the Sapiento group. Banana and plantain alone, it contains a lot of potassium. To do a lot of things and sanitize our system. Get our garbage clean. You can use anything from the banana, from the flour to the banana, to everything down there. Nobody has done that research. And they are dancing around it because some of us don't want to get into the so-called democracy politics that have been forced on us from the West. Our people were very truthful. So please, one thing I want to tell you, I have more than 200 herbal formulas and food recipes, dating back some of them more than a thousand years. We can talk. I did, I've done a few uh, of my workshops in Atlanta, in Houston, Texas, in um, a few cities in America for some time, but I've not traveled there now. Now that you are coming here, you can come and talk with us. We are ready to teach. I'm not ready to go and teach somebody who will come and learn it over you. We are brothers and sisters. I'm ready to teach anybody. Thank you. Okay. So again, you are investing in your health when you come to Africa because the West is a very sick place. Yes, it is. Very highly poisoned. America is the home of the devil and Monsanto. Come on. Come on. It's the home of DDG. Yes. So you are obligated to come here and heal yourself and to rejuvenate yourself and to free yourself from all of this, this ease of the West. Please, Dr. Asari brought a lot of the healing formulas. That's the Moringa there. So make sure you grab this and start to detox. Everywhere I go in the world, I take three things. Charcoal, cayenne pepper, and nymph, okay? Charcoal, if you got poison, you drink the charcoal in the water. Cayenne pepper, uh, keep your system open if anybody having a stroke, knock it out. You can come back from a stroke, heart attack. And then the nymph three, 300 diseases that it can cure. Get rid of parasites. So you gotta detox and be strong so that you can what? Enjoy Africa. You can't enjoy Africa if you're sick. Can I get a nice shade or amen? Because <laughs> I'm happy. I enjoy living in Africa. And I deserve to be happy. I want to live to be a forever. Okay. One day at a time. One day at a time. The next brother, we got so much good stuff here. But we're going to